Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Divide and Conquer campaign as Darwinian. Welcome back, guys. Yes, we've been having fun with this series, haven't we? A lot of fun. We are here at Tustore over here in Brown Boat, and luckily the elves have taken the land up here. We've also taken Kargukor over this way, and we should be able to go and destroy this army very, very easily and very, very quickly as well. I wonder why we can see all the way down these roads. Why can we see all the way down this road? I don't see any watch... Oh, the watchtowers are there. They're just really hard to see. <laughs> oh, but that's quite good. And we are very close to Barador now. But because we're on episode 20, guys, we are going to Toggle Fog of War. And I do need to let you know of one thing before we do that. So let's uh, get that Toggle Fog of War done. Toggle the Fog of War, my friends. Um, I did already record this video once, guys. And uh, unfortunately, I've done this twice now. I forgot to save it. Um, now, I left it about four, five days before I've rec uh, recorded again. So I can't really remember what happened apart from... There was some big battle around to Story. Obviously, we, we beat them back down here at Kargakor. Uh, but apart from that, I don't really remember anything else happening too much, really. Um, so, yeah. That's fine. Is that... So, that's my army. Oh, so we've got a few battles to do. So, let's have a look at what's happening in the world. So... The uh, Mordor army, the Inquisitor's army, did come and take Sir Sterlitzka Khan. But it looks like Khan is doing very well. Harad is kind of on the ropes. Only three settlements left. Now, they do have a lot of garrisons in each settlement. The Ar Ar Dunayim actually took An Karagmir as well, so they don't get Mumakil anymore. And Dol Amroth is doing very well. Look at them. Pushing down. Now, how is... Gondor doing actually terribly look at that Gondor is being seized down at Minas Tirith so it looks like you know Mordor is really just focusing on Gondor and not the threat to its back if we took Dorthalu Mordor shouldn't want to come and take our land I know we border here but there is a barrier in the way the mountains so yeah oh no they would because of uh, Celebrin here as well but the Black Gate is not far away, is it, guys? And honestly, I'm kind of considering sending that new army down to the Black Gate to pummel our way through so we attack them from both sides. We've, of course, got Kargakor down here. They have got Thaurband over there. But Mordor is struggling inside its own lands. In terms of Dol Gador, they're actually doing very well still, even though we're putting on a lot of pressure onto them. You can see they're still holding on to a lot of territory. They've even got Adrakar. Oh my god. And they are going after Karas Galathon. Which is crazy. Well done, Dolgador. Doing well. Same thing can kind of be said for the uh, Orcs of Moria. The Orcs um, of the Misty Mountains. Um, yeah. They're doing quite well. Still got a Goblin Town. The Vale of Anduin. I believe last time we saw the Vale of Anduin, they were on the last legs. They still very much are. The Orcs of Gundabad and Erebor are just trading blows, really. Neither side is winning or losing. They're just kind of uh, bouncing from one side to the other. They do have Dane's Hall, Erebor. But but over here in the north, this is where we see the most difference. Um, like Angmar is actually quite battered and bruised and getting pushed back on a lot of fronts. You know, free armies of the free peoples are moving everywhere around here. And Angmar is really struggling. They've still got these uh, two settlements over here. But it seems only a matter of time uh, before the Dunedain and the uh, sorry, the dwarves of Ered Luin come and take it back. Same thing can be said for Bree. Doing well. I don't believe they're at war with Ered Wyth. I think they're neutral still. Uh, but yeah, Bree is going down to take... Uh, this over here, and the Dunedain are sieging down Tharbad, which is another one of their ancestral homes. So another great, uh, great attack by them. Uh, they took out the uh, the Barrow Whites at Mengelen as well. Nice, well done. And Dunland over here, yeah, just seemed to be getting attacked from 
quite a lot of different angles. I mean, the or goblins have taken uh, this one over here, Byrig. Uh, Dunlarak is okay still, and Dunyard is. Apparently, the ring is at Isengard. Um, that's interesting. <laughs> Saruman's over here, just chilling. He's literally running away from whatever this is, because... <laughs> Yeah, Rohan is not exactly, you know, letting off. They're doing quite well, Rohan, to be honest. Um, they're doing very well, in fact. So, fair play to them. Uh, so, it definitely looks like the good factions are winning out here in the West. And in the East, it's kind of a... Well, it's kind of a... Uh, you know, there's some strong evil factions like Dolgador and Mordor still. But there's still us... And, you know, the elves and stuff that are still going well. So, interesting. I think it's advantage evil in the east and advantage good in the uh, in the west. Until we come into the party, of course. So, we have a couple of battles to do, don't we? So, let's start with the smaller ones first. They might run away. No, that's literally all you have. Really? Well, we'll fight it, guys. We'll fight it. We might as well. Otherwise, we'd probably uh, lose it very quickly. But I'll see you there, guys. So here we are, guys. We've got very few archers in this army. I kind of wanted to put all the archers together and just tread them. But like I say, we've got very few archers in the army. The rest of you boys are all kind of... Uh... Let's get you involved as well. There we are. The rest of these boys can just go in a big line. <laughs> I mean, we don't have much to fight. It's a very messy army, this, isn't it? Just walk there. And let's see if we can get the archers firing into them. Same with the Avari Naharim. And the cavalry will get you round to, say, there. That'll be good. All right, let's see what we can do. All of you run. But yeah, it's not exactly a scary army, this. And uh, I don't know why it said it was so in favor. Like, there was not... It was, wasn't, was like, majorly in favor of us. Because it's just... It's just trash, this, isn't it? They always like to face the, uh, the cavalry. But we can do this <laughs> with our horribly shit units. And, uh, yeah, how are you going to get through there, my friends? Not very easily, are you? Let's keep coming. Okay, cavalry run. Nice, boys. Nice. I mean, it's just trash, this army. So let's get the cavalry. That is no orc horn. In fact, it might be an orc horn. <laughs> Fire at them. So, yeah, I think, you know, this army's just fine. Their general is the one back here. Yeah, and we're absolutely shredding them with arrows. They're one of they're the scariest unit they've got here, but not scary still. <laughs> Just unfortunately we don't have much cavalry with this. Like I say, I wanted to push with this army until we take Dorfalu. So we're kind of in a more stable situation. And then what we can do is get this back for retraining. They've broken already. Get there, boys, get there. Let them run away. Straight into the Black Auric Halberds, right in the back. Go on, boys. Broken them straight away. Nice. And the Halberds are getting shredded. They are getting absolutely shredded. Oh, and they've broken as well. Nice. I think it's all it's going to take. I know we're going to charge them in the front, which is not really a good idea. But they're on the march. They're not in good formation. They're taking a volley. I think we'll be okay. We didn't uh, hit them in the left-hand side, which would have been better. But there we are. Let's go. I think we can just leave the uh, the archers to deal with these boys, to be honest. Got some really, really experienced troops here. And the privateers, you can go and deal with these boys. What are you guys doing? Let's get over there. Uh, in fact, you guys get them. They should be willing to run now. How many have we killed? 86%. That should be enough. Hopefully that army's fully destroyed. But easy victory nonetheless. I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And what do we do with Orc Scam? 
Execute, of course. And if you are enjoying this series, guys, please do give it a like uh, and a subscribe. That'd be amazing. And surely we can... We only lost 19, okay. It's no way the great now as well, by the way, guys. <laughs> Pretty good name, I've got to say. Very nice name. We like to hear that. Uh, enemy army route. So we've sorted that area out. We've got an army coming here. Yeah, we're putting together a pretty fat army over here, aren't we? We are going to get attacked at, at Th uh, Carverad, but that's fine. Uh, and to Sture, do we want to move these boys out? I mean, what I could probably do is try and get you into Tusture for next turn. Problem is, Tusture doesn't have walls. It's still a village. And I don't really want to wait around for it to become a town unless... We could disband a troop. That's one thing we could do. But unless they had, like, some really cheap mercenaries, I don't think that's a possibility. I mean, can I have a look? No, no really cheap mercenaries there. Now, over here, let's go and kill some orcs in Mordor. Captain Gazrad, my friend. Captain Gazrad. And we've got Captain Rick here. Big Rick. <laughs> And, yeah, we'll just use our archers to the best of our ability and shred these boys, hopefully, with the archers. I mean, infantry-wise, they've got absolute trash. They've got some decent cavalry. What's our cavalry looking like? Not fantastic, but we do have an Avari Naharim and a good one at that. So, that should be a good option to take down their cavalry. So, we'll see you there, guys. Here we are in the Black Hills of Mordor. And, uh... This looks like a nice little spot, doesn't it? Doesn't it, boys? Um, <laughs> feels kind of cheap, but I'm assuming the AI loves to be on the top of a hill, so I'm assuming they'll set up there. So let's get... Where's our cavalry? Why is everything... Why is everyone so disorganized in here? Very annoying. I need to organize these boys ASAP. Vari Naharim, and then the rest of the boys will just get you here. Ready to go into whatever position we want you in. And then here. Yeah, let's get here, boys. <laughs> this is brutal. Get there. That should be easy firing down on the enemy there. I don't know which way they're going to go. They can either go one way or the other. They might even run away. Oh, no, they're coming. They are definitely coming our way. So what I'm thinking is Men of the Thorn. Let's get you set up there. So they can come up here. So, yeah, we just need to set up, like... Okay, it won't even go over that blob. So let's go there. Let's get these, these boys in here as well. And let's get the Javis behind ready to throw. Let's get all you guys running. I know the Men of the Thorn won't run for now anyway. Uh, where are we? So let's get the Moriquendis and you in here. And if anything, get you both off that and running. Why won't the Men of the Thorn go? I don't know. And then the rest of you, the rest of you three, you're just backup reserves really, aren't you? Where's the Avari Naharim though? We'll get you there and we'll get the cavalry over here ready to charge when they want to. No one coming around the other way. In fact, while we're here, let's get everyone to fire at the Loki Nasrim. That's their best unit. Just arrows raining down on them. Poor guys getting shredded. And they're going to keep getting shredded. They've got Southron Lancers coming. But like I say, I'm not really bothered by that. Ivari Naharim should be able to fire on them pretty easily. Nice. These poor guys, they have been screwed by the map. What the hell is this? Let's get forward if you can. It's not the best position you've taken there, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but anyway, the terrain. We've gone straight in there. That's fine. Now start firing. Oh, we shredded the Loking Ass Rim. Get right in that blob there. Oh, the arrows, they come raining down. Kill the Loking Ass Rim. Come on, boys. How many have we killed already? 8%. Doesn't seem that much. 
But they are just going to get funneled into this block here. It's already someone routing. Oh, I think it was the South Front Lancers. Right, speed it up. We don't need to go spend too long on a battle like this. But here they come. And let's make sure we're in the spear wall now. Are these guys in spear wall? Yes, they are. So they should, they should make short work of the Lok in Asrim. Here come the orc bands ready to fight. The bands of orcs from the mountains. They are coming. All right, let's get these boys over here. I mean, this is just absolute trash. Just trash everywhere. They should get some really nice shots on these boys. Come on. Why are they firing in such an arc? You don't need to fire in an arc, boys. They're literally right here. You're not going to get too much friendly fire by doing that. So, let's go straight into the Orc Scouts. They're firing away. Could use the Avari Naharim. Kind of want to save them. Because they are so powerful. But they are a very good melee unit as well. Not so good as, like, uh, AMR's... Uh, sorry, Edwardin's troops. Not AMA, yeah. Edward, I mean, they're not as powerful as AMA's cavalry unit, but yeah. Uh, not Edwardin's either. Come on, boys. Get out of the fight. Why do they never listen to you in this game, man? Speed up. All right, let's go. Let's make sure. Okay, I'm losing a few frames when I put it on time six again. <laughs> they are not happy right now. Really not happy. I feel like that's pretty much everyone. Have we got anyone else? I mean, the Loki and Asrim, they're going to last forever. Moran and Guard here. Everyone else is running. I don't think we've got enough Cav to cover every... Oh my god, that's it. That's it. <laughs> my god, Orcs. Orcs are... Uh, orcs are not so strong, boys. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Depending on the Orcs, of course, the Isengard ones are very good, but... We'll get that Moranin guard. Kill them. You guys get going. Why are you so slow, man? Come on. How many have we killed now? It says 90. Let's keep going. Let's just get a few more kills just in case. Oh, they're getting absolutely destroyed. The poor orcs the whole way up. Just dying, 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 dying. And all of this is from, like, charges and from the arrows. <laughs> Well, I think that'll be okay. Good. 77 we lost. And we killed over 900. Well, that's pretty nice, isn't it? The Athala Rangers doing very well. Fantastic. I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And, of course, execute once again. That's what we like to see. Fantastic. And let's get straight back into Kargagor for now. Um, You get out. You boys get in, and we'll leave the archer out there for now. Oh, wait. What? What just happened there? Could have sworn we did this. There we are. Okay. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> so they're a lot happier in Cargo Core now. Now, we've just got to try and make them happy. But they are a bunch of orcs at the minute. We need some humans in here. But, yeah, good battle by Athel here. What else have we got going on for us, then? Just movements of troops, I think. So let's end the turn and let's see what happens. Got our spy coming back. Pastor Lingvar. Hopefully we can get to Tustore with that archer unit. Uh, without too much of a problem. These small armies are just so annoying though. Because to auto-resolve them, it just punishes you so much. When you could pretty much kill these armies without, you know, any losses by just firing your arrows at them. <laughs> but it just takes a necessary time for, for, for not really that much of a fun battle because it's just a tiny army you're fighting with a massive army. So, yeah. So they have come after Carverad. We kind of expected that, didn't we? Um, so I think we go with a cavalry detachment and try to defend it. I think that's the best thing. Oh, the Ar Ardunayim want some trade rights. I mean, yes. I don't know how you're going to... Like, we're going to trade with you. I don't believe we're bordering you anywhere. <laughs> or will be anytime soon. Oh, unless we get somewhere on the Anduin. Uh, yeah, we might 
do we might get something on the Anduin, but let's see what's that balanced? No. Nope. Oh well. Oh well. I mean, I respect the fact you've come all this way, my friend. Mistrand Merchants Guild. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lorian wanes. Yeah. I mean, they're under siege from the bloody orcs. Of course they wane. So we could go for Austin Gale, or we could go for Dorlingvar. Now. I would like to leave the elves to go for Austin Gale, but we all know the elves are absolutely useless. So, especially the woodland elves. So, let's just go for it ourselves. Uh, what's in that army? Just maulers and stuff. Well, we'll deal with that. Naburka has upgraded. Fantastic. Now we can actually get a port there. I know it's a lot of money on that. Mornathel... What did we get? I think we need the Lord's Hall next. Elgair, Dockland. Ah, I know it's expensive, but let's go for that. Lest did actually get the roads now. So let's go for something a little bit cheaper, like the market. Uh, Rubar got the large town upgrade. Fantastic. Can actually get the Merchant's Wharf there now. Uh, is there anything nice and cheap? Not really. And the market is actually... Uh, just so we can build in as many places as possible. Uh, leather worker there. Uh, Austin Airy got the trading posts. Let's go for the chicken farming there. And then we'll just have to leave the rest. Good. And yeah, I believe we're recruiting in a few different places, aren't we? Karasant. Yep, good. Santam Wheat. Well, while we're in Santam Wheat, let's get Edward in. And let's get two of Ari Naharim. One with three gold experience. And these boys. And let's come over to Carverad. Because we're going to smash that army to pieces in a second, boys. Absolutely to pieces. Could do with retraining those boys soon. Uh, we've also got these guys that all need retraining. So, let's see. Could we swap them out with people who have the armor upgrade? Probably yes, we can. And let's get you. Looks like they have all actually got the armor upgrade. Okay, apart from those boys. So, let's get them in there. You're coming in for the armor upgrade as well. Got you moved. You, these boys down here. You're going to Enmahath. You're going up to Strondost for retraining. Can we leave Cargacore now? Let's have a look. If we get you in there. 50%. How about with, say, these boys? Still 50%. What's the main issue? Religious unrest. Yeah, big issue. Squalor as well. Got a lot of lore in here. Uh, and only 10% from the garrison. Uh, yeah, well... How about we say we leave... I mean, we don't have a huge amount of archers in this army, so I'd prefer not to leave one of them. How about these boys? Still only 50%. Well, looks very much like we're going to have to wait there for a bit then. We'll leave you there. That's a bit annoying, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll deal with it. We'll just have to be a bit slower on this front. It's never ideal, but it's never terrible either. So let's go for this battle. Let's see what we do. Yeah, we're just going to try and skirmish them with the horse archers and then destroy them with the cavalry, which should be very easy. Not got much anti-cav units there, so we will see, guys. Here we are, guys. It actually looks really cool set up like this, doesn't it? Um, but let's get the cavalry set up behind. We'll get the Avari Naharim. And probably go over this way for the Avari Naharim. Make sure you run. Do they? Did they even have any archers? I, shh, they got the hunters and the Mirkwood goblins. Honestly, don't see how this is going to be an issue. Let's just go and try and take as many out as possible. I mean, the Dolgador host is not really something we're too bothered about. Kind of want to fire at the uh, the wargs, really. 
Fire at the wogs. They don't like this, do they? Well, let's speed up. Oh, yeah, it's working a bit better on time six this time. Keep coming. Keep coming. Fire at the wogs now. Right in the back of them. Don't know what they're doing. Are they withdrawing? Oh, poor wogs. <laughs> oh, they're down to the last couple of men. There we are. <laughs> what are they doing? What are they doing? This is terrible work from them. They're going after the other guys. Right, let's go. Don't need to uh, worry too much anymore, do we? So, okay, fire at them. And then I reckon we charge them. We should have broken them easily. Yep. Yeah. Do we even lose any men in that charge? I doubt it. Feels like it's... Oh, it's, it's still on times two's pace. Let's go. Are they broken? Didn't lose any men in that charge. Oh, we lost one there. So I don't know what the hunters are doing. What even is that unit? Oh, it's high paladins. So they're not going to have a problem, are they? Come on, men. Let's go. Why are you so slow, men? Come on. Should break them. Wasn't the greatest charge. Them running away is actually kind of negating our charges quite a bit. Which is rubbish for us. So let's get there. Go, men. Go. Should break them very easily. Come on, boys. Like, I don't know what these charges are, but they're absolutely crap. So will you hurry up with an actual charge? A proper charge. There we are. That's better. Come on, Edward in. Get in the fight, my friend. Come on. How can we not have beaten these guys yet? Shocking. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> Stop letting them get away. Yeah, there we are. Now let's get them. Get after them. Good. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. How many have we lost? 3%. I mean, we've lost... You know, one or two units, and that's it. How much have they left? No, not quite enough for us. So, to fully destroy the unit, should I say? Come on, the high paladin boys. Get in on the fight. <laughs> and that should be enough. As soon as they touch this unit, should be enough, really. Is it? Fantastic. Easy wins, boys. Easy wins this whole episode, so... That means next episode we're going to get absolutely destroyed in a battle. But <laughs> I'll see you back on the campaign map, boys. Here we are, guys. So let's execute them. Stupid Dolgador. When will they learn? <laughs> Not very soon, it seems. Not very soon, it seems. But anyway. Poor Dolgador. Next armor upgrade, a Varim plate, which will come from this, a Vari armor. So... All their armor upgrades are, yeah, full. So they got full 9 armor now, 12 armor. So that's a 24 defense unit now. And even the archers, 16 defense. Pretty darn good, isn't it? Pretty darn good. Oh, bollocks. I didn't mean to do that. Let's auto-resolve this one. Let's take our chances. 198. Honestly, not too bad. It looks like it's just taken like 3 off the top of everyone. <laughs> so... We've got Lagaran over here. Let's go for him. If we can kill him, we will do that in an actual battle. But yeah, if we can kill him again. Have we not already killed him? Well, no, that was a Mordor, guys, wasn't it? So let's go for him and go for Austin Gale. Nice. Let's press the end turn then. I think that's everyone. Oh, we forgot about uh, Norway the Great. Norway the Great. I mean, he has refounded... The elven, uh, the elven uh, provinces and the elven presence in this region. So I feel like he justly deserves the trait, the great, definitely. Looks like they've built a couple of watchtowers here as well in Dorthalu. So that should be quite good for us. Um, I guess Dorthalu is, is Mordor and the last holdouts of the Easterlings over here in Dorthalu. Even though we have destroyed their clan, they will have picked up the dregs. And uh, yeah... <laughs> <laughs> we are going to destroy them. And then I think Norway the Great can go and rest himself for a year or two, recouping and replenishing that army 
before we move further down towards the Black Gate. Galadriel's gamble. The strength of the Galadrim weighs. The Gal or should I say Galathrim wanes, and many have fallen in battle. Through the power of her mirror, the lady has seen the fall of her people and has called all to take up their bows and swords in a final defense of the forest. Those who have not seen combat in millennia shall march forth and turn the last vestiges of their terrible power against the enemy. So, yeah. Uh, Karas Galathon is under siege by the uh, uh, by the goblins, I believe. Was it? No, it was. It was. Was it the goblins or was it Dolgador? I can't remember. But either way, not good for them, is it? Not good for them. Mines in Strondos now. I think the best thing we can do is get a dockyard. Mataram, we've now got roads. Oh, that's fantastic. That should really help with that. Do we go for the mining network? I mean, we might as well, hey. We might as well. Now, where are we not building? Because we missed a couple of places last time, didn't we? So, Tostore. Oh, give me one sec, guys. Right, guys, sorry about that. We are back. And, yeah, we've got plenty of people recovered. All that sort of thing. Yes. Got these guys. I think screw that army. It's it's pointless. We might as well go for Austin Gale. It should come and try and defend Austin Gale anyway. Lagaran's going back over that way. So let's have a look. Door Lingvar. There it is. If they come and take Tostore, honestly, like I said with Rawberg, I don't really care. It's a pointless settlement. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And it looks like they're going after Rawberg anyway. So let's see. Let's see what we can do. Uh, and then we've got you boys going in there. Actually, they filled it then. Fantastic. Let's get all those boys retrain. Oh, you're kidding. I don't know. I didn't mean to press the end turn. No. <laughs> Come on, game. <laughs> didn't even get to build everywhere. <laughs> Definitely didn't mean to do that. But anyway. <laughs> extra turn. Extra turn. Let's see what happens. Um, I mean, it's just delayed us one turn. That's fine. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Deary, deary, deary me. Yeah, a new Rawberg would come under attack. Well, what we're going to do, guys, we are going to leave this episode here. And we'll leave on a bit of a cliffhanger. What do they have? Some scouts and maulers. So, we should be better in melee than them. It just depends whether the scouts get those uh, javies off or not. That'll be the real question. It's very even, as you can see. Uh, but it should be quite fun to start next episode on. So anyway, guys, I will see you all again on the next video. Please do like and subscribe, and I will see you there.